I love my smartphone. It's fast and it's shiny and it's just, it's just cool, you know? It's just so freaking cool. But when I look at my smartphone, I'm not overwhelmed by the cool factor it has now. I'm overwhelmed that we've managed to turn the uh, lovely computers I played on in elementary school into something that not only fits in my hand, but that also has more storage space, sleeker graphics, faster processing speeds. I mean, the list goes on. It's an incredible amount of progress to make in the space of 20 years. And we have the sorts of research conducted in clean rooms to thank for it. That is why today I want to tell you about a baffling funding decision recently made by the United States National Science Foundation, or NSF, and what you can do about it. All right, time for some background and confusing initialisms. As a physics grad student at Cornell, I regularly use the Cornell Nanoscale Science and Technology Facility, or CNF, for my research. The CNF is a clean room, a space that's kept extra clean so that little bits of dust don't ruin the tiny devices that people need to make for their research. I mean, think about all the devices crammed into this baby. Dust would not be welcome. Not at all. In fact, I have to wear a bunny suit whenever I go into the clean room so that bits of my skin and hair don't contaminate the place. For the past 10 years, the CNF has been part of an NSF-sponsored network of research cleanrooms called the National Nanotechnology Infrastructure Network, or NNIN. There are way too many tongue twisters in my field of research. As an NSF-funded center, the NNIN was designated 10 years of funding, which ended earlier this year on February 28th. Okay, that was all good and upfront. Now we start to get into the messy stuff. In 2012, realizing that the funding cycle was drawing to a close, the NSF announced that it would be funding a new cleanroom network starting in 2014. I just want to pause for a moment and emphasize that the decision to continue funding cleanroom research was made in 2012. Over a year ago. Remember that. Two teams of research cleanrooms submitted proposals to be the next generation NNIN on the due date of May 2013. I'm going to pause again to say that I would not be surprised to learn that thousands of man-hours went into making these proposals. And I'm not just talking about document preparation, though I can only imagine how big those documents were considering that 16 million a year was on the line. I'm also talking about the lengthy review process, which involved a lot of back and forth with the NSF. And so our teams waited 10 months for a decision. That decision arrived a few weeks ago, and the decision was... No one will be funded! Now you might think, well, maybe neither proposal was acceptable. But the problem is that there hasn't been any indication from the NSF that that's the case. And when pressed by Science Magazine, NSF officials said, We have not made a formal decision, so asking that question is premature at this time. We have something we intend to do, but since our thinking is not mature, it would be premature to talk about it now. Not mature? Ten months since the proposals were submitted. Over a year since you originally asked for them. You initially say, no one will be funded. And now you claim your thinking isn't mature? To quote Tumblr, I just can't even. I'm just so frustrated watching the NSF shuffle its feet around in this matter because it has been clear to me since I started working in an NNIM clean room three years ago that these spaces are important. I mean, you've got student users and industry users and government lab users sharing a common space, sharing recipes, sharing processing advice, pushing our technology forward. And, you know, nanotechnology is an increasingly important part of our society. As a student, it's just it's just cool that we get to work in a clean room, that we can make devices at the scale of a million times smaller than a millimeter. A million times smaller than a millimeter. Think about it. It's freaking Cool! It's inspiring to students that that's something they can do and they can make a career out of. And you know, on the industry side, un unless you're Intel, you probably can't afford your own clean room because they're kind of expensive. But you can afford to rent out space at a common facility like an NNIM clean room. And then you get to meet students and recruit students and students get to learn and you have this great bridge between industry and academia. And so these facilities make sense on an inspirational level, on an economic level. I mean, they're a good use of tax taxpayer money, and it's just baffling that the NSF doesn't want to fund them right now. It's like, NSF, why? Why are you doing this? Ah. All right, that was a lot of info, so here's the super condensed version. In 2012, the NSF said that it wanted to keep funding nanotechnology research cleanrooms. Yay! In 2013, 
2013, two teams submitted proposals to be the next NSF Cleaned Room Network. Yay! In 2014, the NSF said, Never mind. We don't know what we want to do. What? So here's where you come in. Please help remind the NSF that funding these clean rooms is important. Your phone will thank you for it. You can learn more and sign a petition at savethenin.org. You can also tweet at NSF with the hashtag SaveTheNNIN. It seems weird to say it, but we need to remind the National Science Foundation that funding science is important. Thank you for your support. Between filming and prepping this video for release, I've learned that the NSF has issued yet another decision the same as its first, that no one will be funded. But it gets better! Apparently, they're still evaluating the need for support for research cleanrooms, and, get this, they might even issue another call for proposals! Which means that a thousand man-hours of work that could have been spent on productive research if the NSF had its act together will now be spent on going through the entire process again. Yeah, that's a great use of taxpayer dollars. In ending this video, I just want to emphasize that, to date, the NSF has not clearly stated what, if any, problems it has with the original proposals. The whole thing is one big carrot on a stick, and I, for one, do not like being a donkey. Get your act together, NSF. I would kind of love for the Save the NNI and hashtag to trend on Twitter. Do you think that we could make that happen, guys? Because that would be pretty great. <laughs>